Hi ladies, it is Kara. I'm coming back to you with another wig review. It is 1.34 a.m. in New York City on February 7th, 2017. Probably wondering what the hell am I still doing up because I have work in the morning. Went on a date, got home around 11. Why not do a hair review while I still feel like I look decent to get this done and out of the way, okay? So I've had this wig for about two months and this is my second time wearing it. This is the Free Trust Equal Synthetic Lace Deep Invisible L Part Wig. It's called Kitron, okay? I don't have the packaging, but this is what it looks like. You can see it on the mannequin, okay? And the color that I have is OH227144, okay? Now, let's get into this wig cap construction as quickly as I can get into it, okay? Um, I really like this wig because it is dark at the top. It is black, okay? And then it goes into this really beautiful, like, light brown color. And then it goes into, like, a darker brown color down here, okay? It's not black on the bottom. It's, like, two different shades of brown, okay? Um, I would say probably, like, a 4. And then this is, like, a lighter color, like, maybe a 30. And then this is, like, a 1B. Okay, I also like this big invisible L part. Okay, now what that pretty much means is that if you want, you can cut it, cut it with some scissors. And if you have texture of hair that's similar to this, you can actually leave that part of your hair out so that it looks even more natural than this, right? So, kudos to you if you can do that. Um, me, I'm lazy, so I'm not doing all of that. What I will do though, for me, that I like better is I have a tendency of leaving my hair out at the edges. Why? Just because I just like that that look. I like to know if the wind blows, you can see some of my hair, and it's not like something like just stuck down to my head. Don't like that. So I took a brush, and I just swooped it, and I put down some of this edge controller. Probably could have done it a little bit better, but um, I'm not into the whole having baby hair like on my forehead to the point where it looks like finger waves or to the point where it looks like I have a swoop bang, okay? A lot of girls do baby hair really pretty and they are killing it. But sometimes I feel like, ladies, we're overdoing a little bit. Just, just a little bit much, okay? You don't need that much baby hair. So that's what I did. And then, like I said, I have my hair out right here just because, like I said, I like leaving a little bit of hair out. That's just me. Most women don't do that, and it looks beautiful when they don't leave it out. But for me, I think because I know I have on a wig, it's just like maybe it's a mind thing. I don't like having, um, I just don't like having all that hair in. I like to know that there's like something out of my own hair, because that's what it would really look like if it was my own hair out, right? So I put down some like edge controller here, okay? Um, I probably could have blended this a little bit like that, but that's cool, okay? And as you can see, I put some concealer here all the way back there. There's two wig caps here, big ones actually, and then there's one all the way in the back, okay? You don't even need bobby pins with this. I don't have bobby pins on now, but sometimes I do it just because it's just a mind thing, okay? So I really, really like this wig because, like I said, once again, I love the color of this wig. And the density of this wig, you have no idea. Like, it is ridiculous, okay? Like, this wig, if you don't want to be Tina Damn Turner, not Tina Turner, if you don't want to be Diana Ross, this wig is not for you. Like, I'm all about big and over the top. But even for me, sometimes I feel like this wig is a bit much only because it's a lot of hair. But with that being said, it's really good in the sense that with it being a lot of hair, it's beautiful because you know how sometimes you go outside and all of your hair is in your face? Don't you ever wonder what you look like from the back? With all of your hair in your face, you probably look like you got no hair or bald headed. That's not hot and sexy. To us, we like, girl, I'm looking, I'm beat to the front. But what about to the back? Think about that. So what I do like about this hair is that it gives you that versatility. This is only a little bit of the hair in the front. There's a big chunk in the back. So without me showing my booty crack, I'm going to try and turn around so you can see what it looks like. But like I said, it's mad hair, like massive amounts, okay? Um... That's, see the back? I'm trying not to show my butt, okay? A lot of hair. Color is gorgeous, though. Oops, I think I showed my butt, okay? So I'm going to have to edit that. But, um, like I said, showing you the back of the hair. Tell me that color is not gorgeous. Like, it is beautiful, okay? So... This is a lot of hair. So what I would say is really good. Like I said, you can have this part of your hair in the front. 
and this part in the back. So ladies, that is the end of my Kitchuan review. If you have any questions, ask me in the bottom and I will try and put a link to my Instagram if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, I will be starting to post my wigs and pictures of them on my Instagram, but as of right now, I don't have pictures of them on my Instagram, okay?